Today we're going to be looking at two of the most popular Amazon seller tools on the market, Seller Sprite and Jungle Scout, and see which does a better job meeting the needs of the average Amazon seller. So let's get to it. So to get started, we are going to start with the most common feature that is desired by Amazon sellers or aspiring Amazon sellers, which I think is the most common case when people sign up for tools like Seller Sprite or Jungle Scout. And that is going to be the product research feature. So here in Seller Sprite, in their product research module, you can see there is heavy ability to customize and it covers the US market, Japan, UK, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Canada, India, and Mexico. They've even got time frames that you can check going back as far as the middle of 2022. Uh, in addition, they've got presets built in for your search. So if you don't know what you're doing and maybe you are a noob, 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 <laughs> newbie, uh, like I'm going back to playing computer games uh, and you're new to this, well, you would probably benefit from the presets. They've got rapid growth, uh, potential low rated sellers fulfilled by merchant competing sellers. So if you want to sell products where you're competing for the buy box, uh, low rating barrier. Okay. So you can potentially get ahead of competition because their listings are not high quality, uh, fast selling for all categories, rapidly growing BSRs. You know, if you have a lot of money to invest, that's probably a good one. So essentially they've got something for everybody here on seller Sprite. And it doesn't matter what market you're intending to sell on. For instance, I live in the US. I started selling on the US market, but I did expand temporarily through the pan European FBA program. Uh, that meant that I could ship my products overseas to one location um, in the UK, and then they would be available in you know Germany, France, Italy, and Spain as well. So I might want to do my research there uh, specifically, you know, theoretically. So these presets are really cool. Now, if we jump on over to Jungle Scout uh, and both tools have a massive product database, okay? Absolutely massive. So I don't know that we're gonna be able to discern between the two when it comes to that. Um, just insane how, I don't know how they made such massive product databases, but that's to our benefit because if you go and try to data mine Amazon and create a parallel database of the products they have there, you're gonna have some trouble because they of course have, you know, bot protection and stuff like that that are going to try to you know hit you with a captcha and say hey solve this riddle etc anyways we're here on jungle scout and you'll see that the ability to customize our search is not nearly as robust as it was on seller sprite um categories though they you know they, they basically try to make it bare bones and simplistic in not hitting us with too many options when it comes to uh performing a product research you know query um, they do have some filters, you know, high demand, low competition, bad marketing, poor products, good return on investment. So they both have filters. Seller Sprite looks like it has about two times as many filters. So they might've gotten a little bit more innovative in terms of what they offered. Um, but in terms of marketplaces, it looks like it is the same marketplaces available as well in terms of international. They just had a different way of showing it. Um, categories, looks like they've got all the base categories here. Um, that you would expect on Amazon. And, you know, a lot of the similar filters, price, net revenue, BSR, units sold over a time frame, uh, product tier, of course, standard oversized. <laughs> Stay away from oversized unless you're experienced, I would say. I've made that mistake before. Um, reviews, star ratings, you know, the average star rating, weight, sellers, listing quality score here as an option. Um, and then of course you also have the ability to exclude certain keywords or ASINs or include certain keywords and ASINs as well. Um, I expect seller Sprite probably has something very similar. It looks like even some additional metrics that we can query, for instance, monthly sales growth. So actually using the fact that they've got the, you know, period of time that they can leverage to look at growth or lack thereof over a period of time and make that available to us. Now, that might be more of an advanced feature, but it's nice to know that it's here on Seller Sprite. As a beginner, you may not need it, but again, as a beginner, you know, you might want to go up here and look at some of the presets that they've got built. They literally have one called Recommended for Newbies here. That would probably be a great place to start on Seller Sprite. And then Jungle Scout, I'm sure they probably have something similar high demand, low competition, bad marketing, poor products, good ROI. So, not necessarily a filter for beginners. Um, but I'm sure, you know, if as a beginner, you would probably want to use those presets, like maybe good ROI, right? Because as a beginner, you want that first um, 
product that you launched to be a win. It looks like they default the price to 20 bucks, net revenue 15, interesting. That's after the Amazon fees. Hey, that's a good place to start. And then over here on Seller Sprite, you know, recommended for newbies, go ahead, click that, and it's gonna go ahead and input something similar, monthly sales, 300 units. They're actually inputting something in the monthly sales growth there, looking like 3% minimum growth month over month. So they wanna see that trending in the right direction, not just look at a snapshot in time and say, hey, perhaps we should be selling in this category, in this niche or these products. Um, they actually included some ex excluded keywords as well. And now there's just page after page after page of uh, potential products that we can sell you know, for beginners, or at least, you know, you're gonna have to explore. Most of these guys, if you've never looked, are not gonna be winners. You need to go and do your do own due diligence. When you have potential products that could be winners, go to the next phase, financial validation, which requires interviewing potential suppliers, logging all those data points, logging, you know, Amazon fees, all that good stuff, doing competitor research so you know what price range to look at. So here we are in uh, Jungle Scout, and you can see it looks like they also have got just an endless amount of potential good fits for beginners. Um, so you're gonna get basically a similar experience, whether you're on Seller Sprite or Jungle Scout for research, but I think in terms of giving the edge to one or the other, it looks like Seller Sprite offers um, more ability to customize and is leveraging the data they have that I assume maybe Jungle Scout has, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, it looks like Seller Sprite though has timestamps associated with the snapshots they've taken of these products over a period of time, and they're able to leverage that to get things like velocity metrics, uh, monthly sales growth, month over month, BSR growth down here. Um, that's something that if you're just looking at a static period of time, you're not gonna get in terms of like Jungle Scout. Now I wanted to mention a few features that I think sellers would also find interesting. So we looked at the product research features, but how about market research? That is available right next to where it says product research here in Seller Sprite. Uh, you've got your marketplace controls, your month if you wanna do historical data, um, new product definition, you can actually control that. So when was it published? I'm just gonna leave it on the defaults. You select a category, so I can type in you know whatever comes to mind. How about headphones, okay? Uh, we'll go ahead and select the first uh, subcategory suggestion. I'm gonna click search and look at the insights it gives us to all of these different best-selling listings within that category of headphones. Gives us all the advanced metrics we would wanna see at a glance. You've got the subcategory, the sample size, how many products are in there. So right now it's looking at the literal subcategories, earbud headphones as one, right? You've got the over-ear headphones as two. Adapters, number three. So if you're just doing product research, maybe you didn't even think of adapters, but hey, you gotta charge them, right? So perhaps you consider including a charger with the headphone as a value add. Uh, cases, you know, people that want cases for their headphones, their earbuds, etc. On ear headphones, ear pads, okay? Also, if you're doing keyword research, these are all significant things you'd wanna make note of. So you can drill down into any of these. And by the way, in one click, you can hit this view market analysis report here in Seller Sprite and check it out. It's doing, you know, and by the way, it's time frame up here, it defaults to last 30 days. You can download it as well to Excel or a PDF, okay? But in terms of market research, it doesn't get much better than this. You've got the sample size, the number of brands you're competing with, average BSR, obviously the lower the better, average units sold for the past 30 days, 9,183, okay, so headphones is a good place to be, average revenue for the past 30 days, average price, okay, so you know what you're competing with. You're gonna wanna drill down into more than just the averages at a categorical level, but this is good stuff to know that you've got one click away. Top 10 sample size, top 10 average BSR, you know, top 10 is where if you really can project yourself, you're probably gonna need a big marketing budget, but to compete on that level in the top 10, then this is something you'd wanna pay attention to. Um, and that's all in Seller Sprite. That was all generated in one click, right? And I just made up the headphones category. So if we go back to Jungle Scout, under product research, we can click category trends, and this is what they've got that's similar. So. Notice there isn't a search feature, okay? So if I wanna search, like, I literally need to go over here on the left-hand side where it says select category, go to what, electronics, and kind of find it within here. It's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to do. I mean, fortunately, it was just a, a second level category here for headphones, so I can click that. But I would much prefer, just being honest, to have the ability to just do a simple keyword search right here. Um, you saw that Seller Sprite had the autocomplete. 
Um, they're both going to get good data. I don't know that Jungle Scout has that one-click report um, for the whole categorical analysis. It does not look like they have that the way that Seller Sprite was able to generate that for us. So worth noting that if you're conducting like high-level research or if you're like a part of a business that's looking to maybe expand into an entire new niche, like product niche, product category, you're going to make yourself look real good when you can walk in with, you know, literally download this as a PDF in one click and show it to, you know, your manager or whoever <laughs> versus Jungle Scout that is pulling together a lot of this information for you. At a glance, you're getting to see, you know, the product, the price point, the ASIN. Um, but, you know, I do think there's more to it than that. And it's nice to be able to look at the aggregate report for the entire category. So I'm going to give this one to Seller Sprite as well. Now, these tools both have just so much information and utility built in. It'll take forever to compare every single one apples to apples, but I did want to focus on the keyword research tool as well before I wrap the video, because that is something extremely valuable to us both during research. And when you have your product ready to launch and you need to create a listing on Amazon, of course, you've got your front end keywords, your title, which carries a ton of weight. You've got your bullets, your description, and of course the back end search terms also important. So the keyword tool here in seller Sprite, Again, gives you the ability to search on market, to search, and it looks like it has expanded marketplaces, Brazil and Australia here as well. Uh, the month, so you got historical data as well. You can select by category if you want to filter by category. Um, again, you can look at search volume, okay? Year over year search increase. Again, Seller Sprite giving us that change metric that you don't see anywhere else that I've seen. Looking at things like traffic cost, price, word count, you can type in specific keywords, which we're gonna do in a second. Uh, search growth, year on year search growth. Looking at the past three months growth. Um, this is really cool that they do that. Again, not just looking at that one slice in time, but helping set yourself up for long-term success. Even the ability to look at PPC bids, okay? The average uh, advertising bid price, which is good. Again, if it comes down to marketing budget, you know, the lower the bid, the better. Uh, you're not gonna need as high of a budget. So in terms of keywords to include, I'm just gonna go ahead and do headphones again. I'm gonna hit search and just show you what the output looks like here in Seller Sprite. So of course, by the way, you can export everything using the export button. Um, the first keyword is just gonna match what we searched for, which is headphones. After that, Bluetooth headphones. After that, Beats wireless headphones or Beats headphones wireless Bluetooth headphones, wireless noise canceling headphones, wireless headphones, Apple headphones, Beats headphones, Sony, Bose, bone conduction headphones so you might not have even known those existed but there's headphones that don't even go in your eardrum they actually go like next to your ear and you can still hear they've got different brands jbl skull candy wired headphones also are seeing some demand i know aaron Rodgers was talking about those probably made people reevaluate their <laughs> their choice to not use the to use the wireless right um being funny but seriously uh so it's giving us the keywords right here. And then of course, advanced metrics. We didn't really talk about what these um, column headers are, but you've got the top 10 products that you can check out right here. Search trends. Is it trending up, down, etc.? You're getting a uh, snapshot in time here over the last few years. Um, how many searches per month? You can see headphones getting over 1.5 million. Absolutely insane. The purchase rate, the search growth, which if you're getting over a million, even a 0.08% growth is still good. The year over year growth, um, this is just insane. The average PPC bid, the market analysis in general, like what is the average price point for this keyword, for products in this keyword. So Seller Sprite basically giving us a snapshot of what we need in the order we need it right here. Jungle Scout, I'm assuming we'll do something similar to that. So you can type in a keyword, you can type in an ASIN, et cetera. I'm gonna go ahead and type in headphones, keep it on the US market and click search. Now from here, you get some access to additional filters that you can use if you'd like to, like estimated PPC bid. They also support that. Keywords to include, exclude, word count, et cetera. The categories if you wanted to filter, um, all those things. So very similar in terms of the filters and the approach. Um, now the results, you don't get the pictures, which I know a lot of people like the pictures, being able to see the products themselves. Um, not that that really matters, but like, you know, it is cool when you're on Seller Sprite. Like if you didn't know the bone conducting headphones, you could just hover over and see what they actually look like just on hovering. So I do appreciate that. Uh, but you see similar results, headphones, earbuds, Bluetooth headphones, headphones, wireless, earbuds, wireless headphones, noise canceling headphones, autophonos. What the heck is that? Inalambricos? Is that like a brand or something? Uh, see, this is where having the pictures would be nice. I want to know what these are. Are these a specific brand or something like that? 
Or is this, okay, it looks like Jungle Scout pulled in like a Spanish translation, interesting. Um, thought maybe that was like a brand. Um, here in Jungle Scout 2, they've got the columns here with the uh, PPC bids for an exact match and a broad match. So those are both visible just at a glance right here. If you see opportunities, like I said, a low bid means you need less money invested in terms of marketing to establish yourself. Um, although keep in mind, if if certain keywords have a lower price point associated with them, then you're most likely gonna have a lower bid associated, which doesn't necessarily mean you're getting an advantage there, right? It's all a function of the average profit margin of the average product associated with each search term, right? <laughs> like think about it, like a Bose headphones, if that's your search terms, those cost like up to 300 bucks, right? Probably more. Whereas if you just are targeting Bluetooth headphones, if you've ever looked on Amazon, the average price point's probably under 20 bucks, right? Anyways, just wanted to show you guys that. They're also putting a rank metric right here. How hard is it to rank? Some say very difficult, some say easy, some say somewhat difficult, some say moderate, etc. So I do like that Jungle Scout has that as well. They've got a relevancy score next to that that I'm totally blocking. Sorry about that. Um, in total though, the Keyword Scout, and then of course you can download it as a CSV uh, right behind my head. <laughs> so it's always good when it comes to keywords to be able to export the keywords and potentially you know, import them into an ad campaign, something like that. Uh, I like that Jungle Scout gives you the average PPC bid because when you import that, um, you'll be able to essentially default your bids to that. You can see, of course, Seller Sprite doing the same right here as well. So again, if you didn't know this, you can export a whole list of keywords, import it into the ads console in a new campaign and begin advertising right away. <laughs> so again, just aiming to save yourself time. I think that's pretty much a wash in terms of uh, Keyword Scout versus Seller Sprite's keyword research tool. Now, when it comes down to it, guys, like Seller Sprite, if you've ever gone and checked out the tools feature on their navigation, I mean, they have so many tools built in just essentially leveraging the massive database that they've got with historical data, you're not gonna find any other tool out there on the market that I've seen, that I'm aware of, that has anywhere close to this level of tools for Amazon sellers, which is gonna benefit probably the more intermediate to advanced seller than the new seller, right? The new seller doesn't know what they need and what they don't need. As you begin to get more established though, it's nice to know that Seller Sprite's got your back with all those tools. Jungle Scout to me, not knocking it, it's extremely popular, I've been um, you know, using Jungle Scout really for years at this point, you know, I, I'm not scared to use multiple tools. I love Seller Sprite. I love Jungle Scout. I've used Helium 10 in the past, um, but I think they're probably geared towards more of a uh, beginner, you know what I mean? To intermediate, whereas Seller Sprite is definitely all of the above, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So check out Jungle Scout, check out Seller Sprite. I'm going to put my link to Seller Sprite at the top of the description as that is the tool I would choose if I could only choose one for new Amazon sellers to get started. You saw that they've got just such a massive suite of tools. And in terms of the side-by-side -side analysis, Seller Sprite for Jungle Scout, while they both do a lot of the same stuff, Seller Sprite had leveraged that historical data a lot too, giving us more advanced metrics to hook into to establish ourselves basically on a better footing for projectable growth. Whereas it looked like Jungle Scout was looking at more of a sliver in time, which if you go to Amazon right now and do a query, look at products BSRs, you're only seeing the BSR today, right now, at that instant, at that moment in time. Of course, it changes. It changed probably two hours ago. It's gonna change two hours from now. So it's good to leverage that historical data just as one example. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already. Let me know if you have any questions or feedback in the comment section, and I'll see you soon with another new video.